frustrated. Our goal is to get the variable isolated. Isolated? Yep, by itself. Like being in a room and there's nobody else. So basically, this means to be alone. Isolate by yourself. Be on your own. You got the basics. Now I can teach. Let's hit the chorus to the dirty beat. Teach me how to solve it. Teach me, teach me how to solve it. Teach me how to solve it. Teach me, teach me how to solve it. Err by learning. Err, err by learning. Err by learning. Now teach me how to solve it. Teach me how to solve it. Teach me, teach me how to solve it. All right, so if you can hear, today we're going to learn how to solve it. So let's do some solving of equations. So our vocabulary, uh, first word, an equation is a statement that two expressions are equal. So they include what sign, guys? An equal sign. Okay, the solution of an equation is to solve for the variables and find a single value that makes the equation true. Inverse operations are just operations that undo each other. So what would be the inverse of addition? Subtraction. And vice versa, what about the inverse of division? Multiplication. An equation that's true for every value that means you could put in any value and it'll always be true. That's called an identity. And a literal equation is an equation that uses at least two different letters as variables. So here's some properties. Don't worry about writing these down, but you can just look at them. We have the reflexive property, um, which means a number is equal to itself. Symmetric means um, they're equal either way. The transitive property says that if one is equal to the other, uh, a different one, then you know they're equal to each other. Substitution says you can put them in. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So there you go. So we're going to start by solving one-step equations. So what's the solution of x plus 4 equals negative 12? Well, what's our goal here? What are we trying to find? We're trying to find this value of x. Okay, so if I have x and I add 4 to it equals negative 12, what do I do to get x by itself? Well, I have to get rid of this, neg or this 4, obviously. So if I subtract 4 from both sides, that leaves me with x over here. And negative 12 minus 4 more is negative 16. Okay, and then we can go ahead and check make sure we got the right answer. We take that negative 16 and we plug it in here for x. So negative 16 plus 4 equals negative 12. We just have to decide, is this true? Well, negative 16 plus positive 4 makes negative 12. And does negative 12 equal negative 12? It sure does. And there we go. All right, so what's the solution to this one? 12b equals 18. Well, if we have um, a number and a variable pressed right next to each other, what does that imply? That implies that they're being multiplied. So it's like 12 times b. So what would we have to do to get b by itself? Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So if we divide both sides by 12, so I get b equals 18 over 12. Is that in most simplified form? Correct answer would be no. All right, so what goes into both 12 and 18? Your answer should be three. Okay, so if we divide both the top and the bottom by three, 18 divided by three is Nine? No, wait. No, it's not. Shh. Pretend I didn't say that. It's six. And 12 divided by three is four. Oh, that means there was a bigger one. Does that mean they're both divisible by six? It sure is. That's okay. We learn new things. So I get three halves here. Or if I would have just taken and divided by six in the first place, that's three over two. That's a two. 
okay? So sometimes if you don't see the biggest one right away, that's okay. All right, solving multi-step equation. This just means you're going to have to do more than one thing. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're probably going to want to distribute this 3 through. So negative 27 plus 6y equals 3 times y is 3y. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. All right. Now, we need to move all of the y's to one side of the equation and all the numbers to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3y from both sides so that my y's are positive. So I have negative 27 plus 3y equals negative 9. Now, to get y by itself, I need to get rid of this negative 27. So I will do the opposite, and I will add 27 to both sides. So I get 3y equals 27 minus 9 is 18 divided by 3 y equals 6 now what should we do with that answer make sure it's right let's go ahead and put 6 in here and 6 in here so negative 27 plus 6 times 6 equals 3 times 6 minus 3 uh, let's see, negative 27 plus 36 equals 3 times 3. And then if you do that math, you get 9 equals 9. Correct answer. Happy days. I like it. Also, I really like this purple and this turquoise, but it looks like Barney on my screen now. Just thought you might like, want to know that or something. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and try this one really quick. Oops. Sorry, I forgot to hit the edit mode. There we go. Distribute, distribute. So I get 6x minus 3 minus 6x minus 8 equals 11x. If I combine like terms on the same side, I have 6x and negative 6x. Those are going to cancel. And I have negative 3 minus 8 more. That's negative 11 equals 11x. Get x by itself, divide by 11, divide by 11. x equals negative 1. Hopefully you got that. Go back and check your answer. Make sure you got it right. All right, so let's try solving a problem. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of flower carpets? They're really beautiful, and they put them in um, like places in Europe. They have this big like flower festival. It's really cool. So they use hundreds of thousands of flowers um, and grass and tree bark and fountains and different kinds of forms to make uh, these intricate designs. So the Grand Palace is in Brussels, Belgium. It has a perimeter of 200 meters. So we need to find what are the dimensions of the flower carpet. So here, I have a picture for you. So that's what it looks like. That um, That's at the Brussels Belgium Grand Palace. And if you see here, it says that this distance right here is a distance of x, and this distance right here is a distance of 3x. So we know that it's some distance, and then um, the other direction is 3 times that same distance. So it says that we have a perimeter of 200 meters. Well, what is the perimeter? The perimeter is where you take and add all of them together, right? So here we go. So let's see, I had 1x plus 3x plus another x plus 3 more x. Um, and that has to equal 200 meters. So if I add all these together, Remember, these are treated as 1's, so I have 4 plus 4 to have 8x equals 200. And if I take and divide both sides by 8, I get x equals 25. So that means if my dimensions are x, x, 3x, 3x, 
that means I have this side is 25, 3 times that is 75. So my dimensions are 25 by 75 meters. Okay, I want you to go ahead and try this one. Uh, suppose a flower carpet had a perimeter of 320 meters instead of the 200. What are the new dimensions? Well, hopefully you did your math right, and you got that we have 40 by 120 meters. And that's all I got for you today. I hope you have fun solving equations. Because, you know, I'm sure you've never done it before. Have a good night, guys.